Hey, so uh, what's going on everybody? Today I gotta explain if statements. So in JavaScript, if a condition of our choosing is true, we can execute some code. If it's not true, we can do something else. That's how to put it simply. For example, let's say we have a user's age. Let age equals 25. To write an if statement, we could type if, a set of parentheses, then a set of curly braces. Within the set of parentheses, we can check a condition. Let's check to see if our age variable is greater than or equal to 18. If this condition is true, we can execute whatever code is within the set of curly braces. If this condition is true, let's console.log a message. You are old enough to enter this site. My age is 25. This condition is true. We will execute this code within the curly braces. You are old enough to enter this site. What if my age was 13? Well, if this condition is true, we don't do this. We don't execute it. We skip over it. If you would rather take a different course of action, if you would rather do something else, you can write an else clause. If this is not true, we will do whatever's within the else clause. Let's display a different message. You must be 18 plus to enter this site. My age is 13. We will end up displaying. You must be 18 plus to enter this site. Basically speaking, if this condition is true, do this. Else, if not, do this instead. It's kind of like a fork in the road. Which path are we going to take? Here's another example. Let's say we have variable time. Time will be in hours, in military time. If our time is 9, as in 9 a.m., let's write an if statement. If time is less than 12, as in noon, then console.log good morning. Else if it's after 12, that means it's at least the afternoon. Console.log good afternoon. The time is 9, as in 9 a.m. Good morning. What if our time was 14, like 1400 in military time? Well, then we will display good afternoon. Conditions also work very well with Boolean variables. Let's create a Boolean variable is student. If you're a student, say true. If not, then false. Now with a Boolean variable, if you need to check the value with an if statement, you can just place the Boolean variable within the condition itself. The condition either evaluates to be true or false. If is student is true, then console.log, you are a student. Else, console.log, you are not a student. Is student equals false, we will execute the else clause. You are not a student. If this were true, We'll execute the if clause. You are a student. You can even create nested if statements. This time we will have two variables. Let age equals some age. And let has license as in a driver's license. Uh, that's how to spell license. Has license will either be true or false. So in the United States, you need to be at least 16 years old to have your license. We'll check that first. If age is greater than or equal to 16, let's console.log. You are old enough to drive. Else, console.log. You must be 16 plus to have a license. 
if I changed my age to 15, well, I'm not old enough to have a license, at least in the United States. It might vary depending on your country. Let me know in the comments section how old you have to be to get a driver's license. I'm kind of curious. You can use another if statement within an if statement. After we check to see if somebody is old enough to have a license, let's check to see if they do have a license or not. So I will add another if statement within our if statement. Pay attention to the indentation. If has license. Since we're checking a Boolean variable, that is going to be the condition itself. It evaluates to be true or false. If has license, console.log, you have your license. Else, again, pay attention to the indentation, console.log, you do not have your license yet. My age is 15, I don't have a license. This is the result. You must be 16 plus to have your license. Since this condition is false, we skip over everything within curly braces entirely. If I set my age to be 18, you are old enough to drive, but I don't have a license, that's set to false. You do not have your license yet. So we execute this condition. So we enter anything within this set of curly braces. We display this message, then check this if statement. My condition is false, then we will execute the else clause. If I set has license to be true, well then you are old enough to drive, you have your license. All right, now I need to discuss else if statements. We will keep our age variable. We have our if statement. If age is greater than or equal to 18, then we will console.log. You are old enough to enter this site. Else, console.log. You must be 18 plus to enter this site. My age is 18, I can enter the site. If my age was 12, I can't enter the site. If there's any other conditions you want to check before reaching your else statement, you can add an else if clause. Then you can check another condition. Let's check to see if somebody's age is less than zero. Your age can't be below zero. Let's let the user know. Console.log, your age can't be below zero. I will set my age to be negative one. That's not possible. Your age can't be below zero. Since this condition is false, we skip over this clause, then move on to the next condition. Else if this condition is true, execute this clause, which it was. Then it's not necessary to go to the else statement because we already executed one of these clauses. You can add as many else if statements as you would like. Let's add another, else if, let's check to see if somebody is over 100 years old. Age is greater than or equal to 100. Console.log, you are too old to enter this site. Okay, now pay attention to this, it's really important. My age will be 101. You are old enough to enter this site. So why didn't we execute this clause? Our age is greater than or equal to 100. The order of our clauses does matter. We start at the top and work our way down and check all the conditions on the way down. So with our first statement, this if statement, age is greater than or equal to 18. 101 is greater than or equal to 18. We will execute this clause and skip over everything else that comes after. Even though this response is more appropriate for what we're looking for, we still skip over it, even though this is true, because we executed this one first. So I would recommend that we move this clause to the beginning and change it to an if statement. First, let's check to see if age is greater than or equal to 100. Else, if age is greater than or equal to 18, 
So this should work as intended. Our age is 101. You are too old to enter the site. Let's add another else if clause. So to check to see if two values are equal, you got to use the comparison operator, which is two equal signs. Let me give you a demonstration. Else if, let's check to see if somebody's age is directly equal to zero. So be sure you're using two equal signs for a comparison, not one. One equal sign is the assignment operator. You want two equal signs to see if two values are equal. If somebody's age is exactly zero, we'll display a custom message. You can't enter. You were just born. If somebody's age is zero, they're a baby or an infant. So let's set our age to be zero. You can't enter. You were just born. This condition is false. We skip this clause. This condition was true. We execute this clause and skip everything else that comes after. Using all this code, let's work on an exercise. We're going to create a text box and a button so somebody can submit their age. Then depending on what they enter, we will display a message. So within our HTML file, we'll create a few things. Let's create a label. The text on the label will be enter your age. Let's add a break after, then a text box. The label will be input, the type will be text, the ID will be my text. I'll add a break. We'll create a submit button. Button type equals submit. The ID will be my submit. The text on the button will be submit. I will also create a paragraph element. The ID, let's say, is result element to display a result. All right, that is everything we'll need. So we can't see the paragraph element quite yet. The text content of the result element will be one of these lines of text. So let's go back to our index file. We'll create our elements. I will set them to be constants. Const my text equals document dot get element by ID. The ID is going to be my text and const my submit, that's the submit button, document.getElementById. The ID is going to be my submit. Then lastly, result element. Const result element equals document.getElementById. The ID is result element. Let's scoot these if statements down. When I click on the button, we will execute a function. The button is named my submit. My submit dot on click attribute equals a function. When we click on the button, what are we going to do? Let's take all of our if, else if, and else clauses, cut them, then paste them within the function for the button. When we click on the button, then we will check our age. Let's set this variable to be undefined. Then we will get our age from the text box. Age equals my text dot value, get the value from the text box, and assign it to age. But remember, when we get text from a text box, it's a string data type. We need to typecast it to a number. So we will set age to equal, then use the number function to convert it to a number. Then we can check our age. We'll replace console.log with the text content of the result element. Result element dot text content equals our message. I'll use a template literal, so I'll use back ticks. Let's copy our text, paste it within the template literal. Then I will delete the console.log message. So we'll just follow this pattern. Result element dot text content equals our message.
All right, let's see if this works. So we will type in our age. Let's say I'm 25, press submit. And we have one problem. Let's see what's going on. Oops, okay, so I forgot to add a set of parentheses after the function. Let's add that. Let's say I'm 25, press submit. You are old enough to enter this site. Let's say I'm 12. You must be 18 plus to enter the site. What if I'm 101? You are too old to enter the site. What if I'm zero? You can't enter, you were just born. I'm negative one. Your age can't be below zero. All right, everybody, so that is everything you need to know to get started working with if statements in JavaScript.